Solar by Green Greg here, and today we're going to talk about is it worth it to reinstall solar panels? So many homeowners have bought a home with solar panels on it, and they know it reduces their electric bill. However, now they got to replace the roof, and they found out it costs thousands of dollars to remove and reinstall the solar panels, and they're just wondering if it's worth the money. I'm going to show you the math of removing and reinstalling solar panels. I'm picking a midline solar panel. At that time, it was midline, 285 watts. If you got a better one, all the better. The mask can work even better for you. So, first of all, to understand is solar panels, they last a long time. Um, this particular manufacturer, they've got a 30-year warranty on their power output. However, just like everything else, solar panels wear out over time. And the way solar panels wear out is they gradually produce less electricity, or we call it degradation. Okay. Now, in a case of Silfab, they're doing 80% by the 30th year. So their warranty is better than most companies. There's companies that even have better warranties than this. Again, there's a midline panel. Um, but I want to show you the math here uh, with the reduced power output and also the dollar and cents. So first of all, 30 years, the first year, solar panels lose about 2 to 3% from being exposed to the sun and get acclimated to the environment. Okay, that's normal. So in this case, Silfab says, hey, it could lose about 3%, maybe less. And then every year thereafter, it's going to lose about 0.6%. Okay. Um, so I did a little math here. Year one, 3% loss. 0.6% a year times four years is 2.4%. This totals to 5.4% loss over five years. Okay. Times 285 watts means that this five-year-old solar panel is going to produce about 15.39 watts less. 285 minus 15.39 is 269.61 watts after five years. And again, it's going to continue reducing a little bit of power, 0.6% each year, which is not much. But I want to show you this, that even though the solar panels lose a little bit of power, they're still good solar panels. As long as they're in good condition. What I've done is I have a solar design software. We use an aerial view of the home. We enter in this, the customer's electric bills. And then we also enter in and save the solar panel specifications, power output, that sort of stuff. So this system, with the five-year power loss, it's producing 12,730 kilowatt hours. This is how the electric company bills you when you look at your electric bill, okay? It is 38 solar panels, 285 watts is the original power output. Um, this system size, the total of all the watts of 285 watts times 38 is 10,260 watts. Or if we do kilowatt hours, 10.26 kilowatts system. Okay. So that's the system size. Now, there's lots of factors. Okay. But in this case, I'm just going to use a number of $9,500. Okay. Um, your local rate may be more or less. Again, it's got to be a customized quote. And you have to make sure all the solar panels are in good condition. Okay, so we have to factor in inflation. And I think this is one of the problems that homeowners are like, oh my God, $9,500, geez, when's that going to pay for itself? We got to factor in inflation. Tico, Tampa Electric, the local electric company, um, they announced that they are raising residential electric rates by 11% or 1409 to 146.72 for 1,000 kilowatt hours. Okay, which means, of course, if you're using more than 1,000 kilowatt hours, even more of an increase. Um, more spent per month. So 11%. Now, I'm not saying they're always going to increase the rates 11%, but let's face it. A loaf of bread is not the same as it was 10 years ago. Gas prices are not the same as 10 years ago. And your electric rates are not going to be the same as they were 10 years ago. Okay. And they're not going to be the same 10 years from today. Okay. Everything is going up. And this is where the value of solar is. And so the common mistake I see is people taking, oh, yeah, so it's 145 a month times 12 months. Okay, let me figure out how many years it is. No, you got to factor in inflation. And inflation is a big part of the benefit of solar is you're doing an inflation hedge. 
And so what I've done here, by the way, is I've shown an increase of 4% electric rates. And I just showed you that Tico is raising their rates 11% in 2023. I'm not saying that's going to go up every year that much, but that's why I've used 4%, and I believe that's pretty generous. And with a four, only a 4% increase, this system's going to save over $52,000 over 25 years. The payback period is going to be 6.4 years. The return on investment is 18% per year. 18%. Show me another investment for the next 25 years that give you over 18% return. You can't. You can't. And if I'm wrong and these electric rates go up even more than 4%, that means this return and this payback will be even better. Okay? So it is worth it to reinstall your solar system. Okay? If the solar panels are in good condition. And so this bar graph here, this blue is showing you if you do not reinstall your solar system. So in this case, let's count out one, two, three, four. The fifth year, your electric bill will be $1,958. And this system is going to save $1,471 in that fifth year. And it keeps growing and growing and growing. But it's going to start saving money from day one. Okay? So it is a longer-term investment, and by the way, a new solar system will be more than three times the $9,500 easily, depending on many factors, of course. So put it this way. Somebody's done you a favor by installing solar system on this home. So, um, so that can show you. Now, I know there's some homeowners like, oh, I'm getting a new roof, and now i got to pay this money to remove and reinstall a solar system. Maybe you don't have $9,500 in this example laying around. Well, you got a couple options. One is to when you get the roof ask the roofer to include in the loan if you're getting a loan for the roof include the cost of removing and reinstalling the solar system okay and that can be done the finance companies understand that hey if a roof has solar on it it's got to be removed and reinstalled and they understand this and by the way the roofing company uh, will call up a solar contractor such as like myself i work with several different roofing companies and the solar company will remove the solar system, the roofing company will install the new roof, and the solar company come back out and reinstall the solar system. Okay, so that's how that works. So, but let's just assume, for whatever reason, uh, you cannot get it rolled into that loan, you're paying cash for the roof. You, you can get a loan for just a solar, and let me show you what that looks like. Now, here in June of 2023, interest rates have gone up. A 20-year loan at 7.65%, a solo loan, um, it would run you about $76 a month, okay? The new electric bill would be about $35 a month. Why, by the way? Because there's a minimum fee at the pay utility company, and we're not offsetting 100% of electric. We're offsetting most of it, but not all of it. The total of this is $111, okay? Your old utility bill is $145. And again, I know what you're saying. Geez, it doesn't seem like much of a difference. Well, would you rather pay 111 or would you rather pay 145? And that 145 keeps going up. So here's the math again with the rate increases. And you'll notice, so <clears throat> this blue bar, again, is the utility bill. Keeps going up and up and up. The, the orange here is the new utility bill and then the solar loan payment. So we're kind of like fifth year. The utility bill it would be 2041 if you don't reinstall the solar system. Okay? The solar savings is still going to be about $900 if you do the solar loan. So you will save money even if you have to do a solar loan. And by the way, if interest rates drop, you could always refinance at a lower rate. And I picked a 20 year loan because I'm trying to show you a loan payment that's lower than your electric bill, right? You're going to buy electric either way. The question is, are you going to pay the electric company all that money and it keeps on going up and up and up like this? It starts at $145 and keeps on climbing? Or would you rather start out at $111 and it's more stable and only goes up a little bit? I don't know about you, but I'd rather, I'd rather have the lower electric bill. And the savings here is $43,000, $43,500. Um, that's very substantial. Yes, it's about ten grand less than paying cash, but if you don't have the cash, you don't have the cash, and that's okay. You're still saving money. So 
as long as the solar system is in great condition, it's worth reinstalling the solar system. So I hope you found this helpful. I'm Solar by Green Greg, and on this channel we cover solar PV, also known as home solar, solar pool heating, energy efficiency, and I give homeowners education about solar without the sales talk, as well as some general troubleshooting, things a homeowner can do themselves. I've been in this industry since 2007. And I'm a homeowner too. I know how it is. You're trying to do a home repair or you're trying to get information about a home improvement and everybody's just trying to give you some sales talk, nonsense, whatever feels good. And it's confusing, right? It's confusing. So on this channel, my whole thing is, hey, speak the truth and help homeowners out. Put the information out there so you can make an educated decision about solar energy efficiency and save money. If that's you, you're just looking for information and not sales talk, hey, you're in the right spot. Go ahead, hit that subscribe, hit that thumbs up, and hit that notification bell. Oh, and by the way, hit the comments and let me know where you're from. It's always fun to know where everybody's from. And if you have a certain topic you'd like me to cover about solar and energy efficiency, pop that in there as well. So I hope you found this helpful. And by the way, off to the right here, I've got that other video about inspecting a solar system and whether it's worth it to reinstall old solar panels. Thank you so much and have a great sunny day. Bye-bye for now.